Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, uh, I'm talking about pricing out driveways for plowing. And uh, I've got my co-pilot, Air Piper, riding along with me. She loves uh, plowing. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, I've got uh, this one driveway I just took a look at and uh, gave the guy a price and he liked the price, so I got hired to do the job. And I figured I would just kind of explain how I price out my driveways. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. So part of my business model has always been like exceptional service, uh, high attention to detail. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. Just I like to go kind of above and beyond for my clients. Um, so a couple of the things that I offer on top of my plowing service included in my price is uh, reflective driveway markers so I come out in the fall and I stick all these little things in the ground and I make sure that I'm not gonna do any more damage than I have to to your lawn and then in the spring I come back and I pull them all out and at that time I assess if I did do any damage and also included in my price is uh, lawn repair so if I have to push banks back or whatever and the ground isn't frozen and my tires sink in or the plow digs in and takes a big divot out of your yard or you've got a gravel driveway and I pushed half your driveway into the yard which I really try not to do uh, I fix all that stuff um, so that's included but it also makes my price a little higher than some of the other guys around town because they don't do that a lot of these guys literally just plow snow they sign you up they come out if you don't have your driveway staked and they do lawn damage it's your own fault and you got to deal with the repercussions of that i don't believe in that i think that if i do the damage i should do the repairs as well but there's a price to pay for that added on service um so that being said uh really quickly i'll run down how i price it out and uh Maybe I will show you a couple of random driveways. So basically I start at $18 per plow. So for a small driveway that is like, whatever, a small driveway is $18. Uh, as soon as it becomes, I don't know how to describe it. Like if you got a car, a uh, two to four car driveway, I would say straight, you know, straightforward, simple, that's $18 per time. Um, as soon as you get like a turnaround in it or uh, gravel, anything more complicated, it goes up from there. So this is not one of my driveways, but here's an example of one that I would charge 20 for. So it's bigger than two to four cars. It's much longer. I have to back blade the entire thing and then push it off to the side. So that takes more time, therefore I charge a couple bucks more. Okay, here's another great example. These two driveways right next door to each other are the exact same size, the exact same layout, but I would charge two different prices for those. So this driveway on the right is paved and that driveway on the left is gravel. So like I just said, uh, that driveway I would probably charge 20, Mm, yeah, probably 20 for that. Um, that little turnaround probably isn't going to make it take much longer. Um, in fact, if there wasn't a car park there, I would push all the snow to the left right there and it'd make it very easy to do. So if that car wasn't there and I would push all the snow over to the left there, which would make that actually not too bad to dump it there. Um, now, just because the other one's gravel, I would tack on an extra few bucks so that at the end of the season, I'd have a little extra money to pay for the labor that it takes to rake all the gravel back in. Now, that being said, when I price a new driveway, I generally try to give a price as low as I possibly can without thinking I'm gonna lose money on it um, because Basically, I want I want to make sure that I'm giving the best value that I can 
And after a year, if I plow and I realize, man, this driveway is really difficult, it takes a lot more time than I thought, uh, then I might up the price the next year. Um, but I rarely drop prices back down lower. Um, if anything, I usually end up going, wow, I didn't charge enough for this last year. I need to adjust my price. And that's totally okay, right? So as long as you're at the end of the season, not completely just losing your shirt on plowing, then uh, if you're pricing one driveway or another driveway a little bit off, um, it's, it's not gonna make your company go under, but uh, definitely reassess the next year. All right, so this one is one of my driveways. Uh, you can see the little flag I've got there on the driveway marker. Based on just the size of the driveway alone, uh, and there's a little bit that I have to plow in front of the garage there. This one would be probably 20, but uh, I have to shovel here. So I get out of the truck and I shovel where the mailbox is next to the garage door and in front of the garage door, which adds a little bit more time. So. Uh, I think I charged 22 for this one um, and it's pretty straightforward because I can push all the snow straight ahead. So yeah, so it's not exactly uh, like a science like this many square foot driveway I charge this amount. It's all based on not only the size but the difficulty, the amount of time. Some driveways I find they drift really bad and they're just, that makes it harder. Uh, some driveways is really hard to find places to put the snow, like where to pile the snow. And those can make it more difficult. Um, driveways where I have to back blade everything, the whole driveway, and then push it off towards the front of the driveway. Those take more time, so they can be more. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of factors, the shoveling, gravel, there's all these different factors that play into it, and I like to take all those into account. I don't know if everybody does, I don't know how everybody else prices driveways, I just know how I do it, and this is what makes sense to me and what's worked for me for a long time. Uh, I have a lot of customers that switch to me from these big landscaping companies because you know, they've got 10 guys out plowing in 10 different trucks, and. There's no, like, you don't call the number and you talk to the owner and he's like, oh yeah, I'll be there in a few minutes. Like, I'm sure there are those companies, but for the majority, the bigger landscaping companies, they're not answering the phone while they're plowing. They're out plowing. Uh, and I, I just don't operate that way. Um, so I get a lot of customers based on bad experiences from other, other contractors. Now, I will say that I have not gotten jobs and I've lost jobs because of my price, but I have, I've got a lot of clients, probably, I've got probably 40 driveways or so, uh, and it fluctuates every year. People move out of town and, you know, I get new people that move into town, people that leave their old guy or whatever. I, I lost someone this year because they were going to switch to a friend of their son's who started a plow company and I was like that's you know great that's good for him uh, I'm always excited to hear when younger people are trying to get into any sort of trade work because uh, it's a it's like a dying thing well hopefully this helped you out uh, if you're looking to price driveways if you still have any questions feel free to drop me a comment down below and let me know give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some plowing videos this winter uh, I did do a couple last winter, but uh, I didn't have my GoPro yet. I was doing it all on my phone and they weren't that great. So now that I've got the GoPro, I think it's going to be a good winter. So, all right, catch you on the next video. Bye.